Okay, now Christy's doing an overhead shoulder press. So the elbows are going to come down to about 90 degrees, and then you're pressing up over your head. Um, what you're working here is your shoulders, your deltoids, and your triceps. So as you extend at the elbow, you want to squeeze those working muscles. Shoulders and tricep. Your, your brain has to make that an actual active contraction. So as you go up on the up part, you're contracting those muscles. Also important to keep your shoulders down away from your ears like Christy is. This is one of those that it's easy to, especially as you get tired, start creeping your shoulders up like that. So you want to keep your shoulder blades depressed, contract your working muscles. Okay, now you can take that same exercise and if you want to do lower upper body at the same time, start with a deadlift up to overhead press. Okay, so really important on that deadlift to keep your abs in real, real, real tight, even when you're working with smaller dumbbells like this, so you don't hurt your back. Abs are in tight. You come up, squeezing your hamstrings, your glutes, and then as the dumbbells go up, you're working your shoulders and your tricep. Okay. And then do the side. Okay, so this is a side lateral raise. And if you have a mirror or a window you can see yourself in, that's helpful on this because you only want to go up until you're even with your shoulders. So if you have a place you can see yourself, it kind of helps with that. You want to stop when you're even with your shoulders. Right there and right there, like a perfect T. Okay, so when you go out to the side, you're working the medial part of your deltoid. When you come to the front, you're working the anterior front part of your deltoid. You've got to work all those muscles in the shoulder to actually get that good, pretty definition all the way around. Okay, and then the scarecrow. Okay, so the scarecrow exercise is for your rotator cuff muscles. You have four deep rotators in your shoulder. So this gives your shoulder that real pretty round look when it gets nice and defined. So on this one, you're keeping your, your elbows at 90 degrees, dropping the dumbbells down, not losing that 90 degrees. And depending on your shoulder flexibility, some people can go all the way down like Christy, some people can't. But go as far as you can and then rotate up, always keeping that 90 degree. And again, a mirror is very handy on, the, on that one. Okay, now you also need to work the back part of your shoulder like in a reverse fly, posterior deltoids. So here's a bent over reverse fly. Uh -huh. So you're going to come up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You might drop your chest down just a little bit more right there. Okay, so for your upper back and the back part of your shoulders. Especially leaning forward like that, make sure you have your abs contracted. Pretend like you have a, a tight corset on. Okay, so that worked all the way around the shoulders. 